101 FM, it's got to be the new Bear I'll Show with your people's little Lil yeah, DJ yeah, yeah. live each and every single Friday. 4.30 in the afternoon, we got some special guests live in the studio. We got the cast of Cold Southern Blocks. This is Ottawa's first web series, by the way. Season 2 is out now on YouTube, so don't sleep on that. That first record right there you heard was by KGJ. He's one of the actors off the brand new web series on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get the passion right here. KGJ, how you doing? What's up, what's up? We got J. Crow, yo. Yo, yo, yo. And we got my brother, Mustafa. What's good, what's good? How you guys doing? Yeah, uh, what's good, man, what's good, you know what I'm saying? Just blessed, you know, just blessed. It's cold out here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's cold. cold southern block, so, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, here, you know. What a walk. fitting time, what a fitting time that you guys came on the show. Right? Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. Correct, correct, man. I know we've been trying to uh, get you guys on the show since last year, but it's uh, good to have you guys now in the new year. Just right off, this is the first interview of 2019, so we salute y'all for coming through, you know what I'm saying? Must, oh, must, must, you know what I mean? Must, must. So right, so right off the bat, I'll just go through the order of the KGJ, just tell all of our listeners who you are, you know what I'm saying, and how old you are and all that stuff. Alright, uh, as, you, as you said, my name is KGJ, I'm 18 years old, you know, coming straight out of Ottawa, I'm half Lebanese, half Haitian, you know what I'm saying? I've been working at this music shit since I was seven years old. Okay. But been like uh like rapping like in general, basically like memorizing songs since three. Okay. You know so and young age, young age. Exactly. Yeah, I've been studying it uh since a young age. But you know, I couldn't do it without the man right here, Jay Creole, That's who like up. is um not everybody knows but who's also like my father. Okay. You know, he's my dad. Like a lot of people get so surprised, you know, because yeah, like... I, I, honestly, I didn't even know that. I thought he was your bro, older brother <laughs> I when I first met him. But J. Creole, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm J. Creole. Shout out to DJ Alive, man. This man been doing, putting the city on for a long time. So I had to yeah, say man. that before. And, you know, shout out to you as well. You know what I mean? I appreciate Respect, what brother. you guys do. Yeah, J. Creole, you know, I've been doing uh, this for a minute. The reason why I give a uh, shout out to uh, Alive, you know, because I'm... I, 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 uh, you know what I mean? Me and this man, we go way back, you know? So I, I, I've we been go, through it. We go way back. <laughs> way, <laughs> but way be back. careful, be careful. Because you know what? Just how they, just just how it is on the cold side of the blocks, man. We don't talk about our age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We don't talk about our age. We don't talk about the government name. Matter, okay? <laughs> no, no, no go of me out here. You no, know but you're, you're you right. You acting voice, we, we go way back, brother. And uh, it's really cool to have you, you know, on the show. And to see you doing such a, a big mega uh, project like this, I got a couple questions for you still. But you know, let's keep the intros going. Let's keep the vibes going. We don't wanna we don't wanna keep everybody uh, standing still. You know yeah what I'm saying? Man. It's the new BRL. We gotta keep the we gotta keep the vibes going. Yeah, so man. yeah, let's producer, keep that. director, J. Creole. You know what I mean? Cold Southern Blocks, also artists. Uh, but you know, music thing. I leave it all, all in the back right now. I only do music for Cold Southern Blocks. You know, so we just uh, we out here. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. What's up? We'll pass it on to uh, the last but not least, Mustafa. Yeah, what's good? My, uh, my name is Mustafa Zaydan. Nothing too special about me. Just a Lebanese guy. Go to school. Just want to try something new by acting in the show, you know? That's what's up. How long have you been acting? Is this your first time? This is my first time. I like the experience. What got you? Uh, what, what, what wanted to get you into acting? <laughs> to be honest, like I've always I've always imagined myself as an actor. I just never really took part of it. Okay. Uh, until J. Creole approached me about the subject. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you know, let's try something new, you know? Always want to try it. What's up? So we'll get back to Mustafa. We got KGJ in the, in the building and Jay yeah. Creole. I gotta start off with you, Jay Creole. I know you're the director of the show. Yes, sir. And first off, I gotta say what a wonderful job you have done so far on season one and season two. I know we just know Hollywood budgets and all that behind behind you or in yeah. Ottawa, but I know you have a super uh, a super strong team and yes. a team that's going hard. Even when I came through from the OT couch as well. So tell us a little bit more about Cold Southern Blocks and why you started it. Yeah, you know, Cold Southern Blocks and uh, and actually, um, I mean, production of uh, movies and uh, and uh, like you see the web series, something I always thinking about, you know, doing a while back. I remember my first music video in 2010 when I came out as an artist. Uh, I actually um, wrote the script and uh, I found a director from Montreal, Justin Augustin, that uh, he actually directed the video. Yeah, he was hot back then. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was the man know. back then. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. yeah so. Um, like we, uh, when the actual uh, trailer for the video uh, came out and people thought it was an actual movie, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and when the video came out and stuff, people was like, yo, I thought, I still was thinking about like, yo, this thing can actually <coughs> turn into a movie. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was one of the projects I was thinking like, yo, I, I eventually, you know, I, I, I saw my, 
you know, my skill as actually putting something together that people, you know, can still appreciate. From an early start. Yeah, exactly. One, one thing an artist needs is, is visuals. Right? Ex so exactly, exactly. If you got them right off the start, right off the bat, then. Ex exactly. So I'm like, I, I knew like one day I'm going to turn into uh, to this because obviously, you know, my uh, uh, set of card entertainment, you know, we, we got set of card entertainment, which is a, a production company. We does everything from, uh, you know I mean, from uh, music production to beats production. And now we start in uh, adventure and uh, and and uh, obviously you know uh, web series and uh, movies and all that. But set a card, the meaning of it is uh, obviously you know a deck of card is very yeah for uh, sure. Uh, you know what I mean uh, it's a versatile you know thing. You can play any game with it. So oh, that's yeah. where you know what I mean my our thing in the game we do anything. You know what I'm saying because because uh, we versatile like that. So what what got me actually to start writing web series is because uh, for music. I started to do songwriting, you know, for, pe for people like, you know what I mean, artists in, in Toronto and the States and different, uh, uh, you know what I mean, uh, Canada, United States. I started doing songwriting. You're even out in Miami at one point. Yeah, Miami. Miami. I yeah. do, like, you know, for different artists and all. I with do, um, like, Maybach Music. Maybach Music. Yeah. We actually, uh, I worked with Maybach before. So uh, we do, I work with artists for actually from Universal Record, uh, uh, Pool Boy Entertainment, we, um, even, um, um, what's, uh, what's that record, uh, it's Levine, Levine guy. Um, game, the game is signed with them. You know, what I mean, it's a big record. They, they have a bunch of people sound. Even Dr. Dre. You know, I work uh, with uh, that label as well. You know, what I mean, an artist from that label. Uh, so um, we had uh, like a bunch of things. I was writing, and I and I start seeing this guy was making beats, and every song that drove, I just like write something to it quick, went in there and write. Yeah. And then we were saying them tracks out. So I'm like, my, uh, you know, my writing skill. I'm like, I need to. Explain. Yeah. So that's when I started this project. I'm like, I'm gonna start. Started getting writing scripts. Writing scripts. So that led to the direction of Cold Southern Blocks. Blocks. And mm -hmm. that's how we got we got Cold Southern Blocks popping. Yo, how'd you link up with these young bucks? <laughs> how'd you link up with these guys? Because you know, you uh, you obviously been been around for a long time, and you know sometimes. Well, that's uh, his little C. Yeah. Of course, I know. Yeah. I <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> we, you were, you we, no, were, we were trying to avoid the shot. Yeah. Well, that's why you said that first. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, oh, no. the music. Oh, that's yeah. the first thing. They say, say Jerry. <laughs> we we, we releasing like he's the father. Are we talking serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's one of the. We first wanted to. Uh, like, I mean, you were trying to avoid that because we did regular interviews in Miami, different like yeah. Toronto, wherever we go. It was always, like always yeah. the shot that DJ. No, like, you know right now. I, I, how would I know? Really? How would I know? You know? Yeah. But, but now I'm looking at you guys. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. But um, there are uh, also other uh, cast members that you have been working with on this series, and I'm like. How did you link up with these guys? You know, uh, how how have you made uh, the a connections? A lot of familiar faces. Yeah, because yeah. it's pretty cool that uh, that that you've 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 come full circle. You know, you said you went to all these different spots, uh, you know, all over the place, like the states and whatnot, and you decided to come back to Ottawa. You know, let me and let me quote something real quick here. You said you you said I believe they said Ottawa don't have it. Mm -hmm. They always look at us like we're a second class yeah. city. You know, mm -hmm. no one gives us props. When it comes to doing things, I always see the potential of the city, mm -hmm. full of potentials waiting for opportunities. Yeah, is that why you keep you come back? Must. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Ottawa. Like that's I can see that's a second coming for me. You know what I mean? I I I've been an artist. Like I put a lot to I do did a lot I did a lot to put the city on the map. Uh, but now I forgot the the next wave now is the youth. You feel me? Like the next generation. Yeah. Right now that's all we got the studio. We starting to push young artists because we know. Uh, now is the time, you know, like the the, the youth, and with, especially with this movement called Southern Blocks, it's uh, based on putting the city on the map. Because we actually the only one that have like, you know, what I mean, that have something like where it comes straight from from like, you know, what I mean, the the street and uh, from us. We don't have no big budget behind us. Right. Like it's just us, me, my son, and then like another guy with small, small production, small team. production yeah. team, and then we out there getting it and show uh, the, the the people in Canada what, what what we can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's really important. You know yeah. what I mean? I think a lot of us, uh, like we said at the beginning, OGs. A lot mm -hmm. of us OGs in the city right here. You know, this kind of like does it, it it makes me warm. You know what I'm saying? It makes mm -hmm. me warm to feel that uh, there is that potential. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because for a long time. Like you said, we've been grinding, and yeah. Ottawa's always like, yeah, sleeping on us. But what I like is the fact that uh, the new, the youths, the new generation of youths like that, are, they're actually not sleeping on them young people. Mm -hmm. So they're watching the movements. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's the difference now. And then we got schools on the block. We're getting a lot of support. And thanks to you guys, like everybody that's been pushing the show and loving, you know what I mean? And uh, mm -hmm. the cast uh, from Avenue, it's like 
people have been getting at us to be on the show. Uh -huh. You know, we started, we started with a small cast. We're probably getting a lot of volume now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started, I'm, I'm telling you, we actually receiving um, um, like uh, actors sending us like their, what you want to call, I don't know what you call that, like headshots. You know, the headshots yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To be part of this project because they see like something that's so much potential and it's from the city. You know? And it's raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're, they're, like yeah. let's, they're acting portfolios. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, they lie, wanna, I, I sit on my headshot once. <laughs> I got denied though. I got they want to. They want to be able to. You know what I'm saying? They want to be able to say, "Hey, you know what? I was part of something organic." You know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's what it is. I got a question for uh, Mustafa and KG. What's your favorite uh, mm -hmm. part? You know about about working on the series. Like, what do you love best about it? Because I could imagine the hard work that is yeah. is involved in this. For sure. I hope you guys keep doing this because this looks like it has a, a nice, like you know, uh, a movement. Mm -hmm. what's, your right, right. what's your favorite part? What do you well, like, like oh, my favorite part of like being a part of like uh, the Cold Southern Blocks thing is like since a young and like and growing up, I've been doing like a lot of things, right? Like you know, I produce a lot of the a lot of artists in Ottawa. A lot of the youngest coming up, produce beats for them, right? Um, I'm also like like mixing them and now mastering them. All these things, and I and like you can kind of see where I'm going with it, like. I like just doing new things and keep trying new things, right? Like, for example, like, there's things that people don't really know about me too much, but, like, I also, like, film some music videos, right? I also do, like, Photoshop work, like, After Effects work, all, the, all this different type of work. And, like, a lot of people don't know this. I actually, like, designed, like, when I was younger, actually, like, in grade, uh, uh, what you call it, 10, I made a video game, you know? So I always like trying new things, so, and then and mastering them, too, so, like, once, uh, like, about, like, a couple years back, like, my dad, Jake Riel, he was mentioning that um, we, were, we he wants to start, like, a, a new, like, like a show, like, a web series, right? Yeah. And then, like, it was small at first, you know, it was just, like, a thought. But then, like, as time going on, you know, the scripts are written, and I'm just, like, we're, like, really doing this. But like, it's, like, as you thought for about it, you're taking, like, everything you learned, everything yeah. that you grew to, like, master your craft, and you can turn that around into, like, yeah, exactly. the behind the scenes. Exactly. And editing and... All that good stuff. What about Mustafa? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part yeah, of the show, bro? Uh, honestly, it's just it's just a new experience, you know. I mean, I've always wanted to act a character that's a bit kind of like myself. Whoever knows me personally knows I could be a hothead sometimes. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, but uh, no, I, I'm most of the time. I'm pretty What's much your background, a, by the way? Sorry, again. I'm, I'm actually Lebanese. Lebanese, I'm Arab, okay, yeah. Dope. yeah, most Arabs are pretty much hotheads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but honestly, I just I'm, I'm Mister Nice Guy most of the time. But like I said, I could be a hothead. And, Basically, I, I, like, I like showing that side of me in the, in, the, in like, the acting scenes, you know? So can you guys talk about the parts you play, or can we not? Yeah, so what, what yeah, part yeah. do you play yeah. in, uh, in, in the series of Mustafa? Just like a, an Arab, like, leader, a general leader of, like, my crew, you know? Okay. Um, and what's your, and what's your... Are we talking, like, a street gang? Now, yeah. I'm asking a question, like, I don't know the answer. I know the answer, but <laughs> I want to paint the picture for a lot of our listeners to be enticed to go check out the series, because, you know, there's... So much potential, and we keep hearing that word over and over. Ba but yeah. ba basically, I'm like the street version of the Joker, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, okay. Uh, all the emotions are always going up and down. You know, you don't know what to expect from me. Okay. Uh, basically, that's that's how I am. Okay. Nice. So soft. And Jay Creole. Uh, myself, I, I'm the I'm that dude that uh, that uh, the whole uh, you know story involved. I, I, I'm a I'm a well, fresh. Fresh, Fresh off, off the, the boat. boat. A, you know what I'm saying? Like, You're an FOB. Like, They're FOB, FOB for sure. A fob. Like, a yeah, fob, as they say. Yeah, buddy. buddy. I, I, I came yeah. straight from Haiti. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, yeah, they dropped yeah, a little mackerel on us. Yeah, so, that's my yeah. character in the show. <laughs> so I, I, know I've seen, I, I know I've seen season one. So mm -hmm. for everybody that hasn't seen season one, what are they missing out on? Because I know that's where the story starts, it starts with you coming from Haiti yeah. to Canada, mm -hmm. fresh off the boat, and what yeah. can they expect after that for every, for all of our listeners that haven't seen season one or seen the show yet? Yeah, so season one, it, it's pretty much based around this guy that came from, from Haiti, you know, um, um, like he doesn't know anything, it's just like, um, his father, actually, you know, if you, uh, I, I mean, for the immigrants, like, uh, coming to a country, like, where everything is new, like, this is how it usually happens, where the parents usually sponsor you to bring you to the country yeah, right exactly. so so that's pretty much what happened is his dad actually uh, uh, sponsored uh, sponsor them to to come to Canada mm -hmm. but uh, before he arrived like his father passed away so now he still gotta <laughs> he still gotta come to the country though but when he when he he has a brother the brother doesn't know him because the brother was born in Canada 
by by like uh, you know what I'm saying like he's half like you know uh, obviously you know obviously you mix out here yeah um so he came so they so, so they married into someone in with Canada yeah exactly okay. so because he was born but his father like has a life outside you know okay, what I mean? exactly. so he has a child a child light skinned child that was born in, in Canada so now when he 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 he, 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 he has to uh, travel to Canada now so when he arrived he um met the I mean the brother. But the brother he doesn't really know him, so now he's got to get to know the brother. But the thing he doesn't know is the brother is a is, a, is involved deep with a, with a lot of street stuff exactly. in the street. You know, the brother's cool. involved deep in the street. With a lot of cold. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, but he doesn't know that. But also the brother tried to keep it away from him. You know, he doesn't want him to know. And uh, now you know, like the drama goes and showing the street life of the brother and him trying to cope and learn a new a new system, a new city, and a new like you know, a new country and all that. You know what I mean? So that's 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 where. You know the the actual uh, uh, series involved. You know, evolved. You know. Yeah. Plus, yes. before we get into another single you have, I just want to say, what can our listeners look out for for season two? Uh, season two, man, it's just more drama. There's two episodes out already. Episode one, episode two. Episode right two, now. yeah, they're already out. And they can uh, find it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, on, on YouTube, uh, Settle Card, Settle Card TV. Okay, dope. Uh, um, we got more drama, more drama, more action. Definitely more action. Season one, we we were trying to focus on the story, showing what's going on. We have who's who. You obviously know it's like a, a pilot project, you know. Uh, so now season two, we got uh, like the whole like you know what I'm saying we got everything coming up like with the the whole drama, the you know what I'm saying action, and everybody gonna see what's what's happening. If people, you I can't tell you much because you have to watch season one so sure, yeah. to to lead you to season two, but everything for like, I mean it's just gonna be like something big and I know you're gonna be a part of you're already a part of that, so I don't, you know what I mean? Like uh we got Thriller, the Thriller's gonna get thrill, his cameo. Thrill, thriller gonna get his cameo. There. More listen, than a cameo. Like cameo. But listen, it's yeah. th what everything out there. <laughs> <laughs> thriller is on that shit man. It's on that. And there, and there better yeah. be food on yeah. the set too. <laughs> <laughs> thriller is on that man. Yeah. So, so before we get into this record I want you to give the premiere. We got a record that's titled The After Party. Tell us about that record. Uh, that record actually um, is uh, something I, because we actually taking or putting uh, the whole, you know what I mean, the whole project for Cold Southern Block, you know what I mean, the soundtrack. Uh, KG just produced the whole project. Yeah. Me, I, I write most of the song of the whole project, you know. Uh, uh, so we work as a team, you know. So, so like some songs, like I write some song he co written and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? And we got. I see a feature on there as well, big That's feature so. on there for some from an artist from Toronto. But after party is that vibe, you know what I mean? I, Cause like like a life say we OGs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but I brought the people back to when you know what I'm saying like that, you know, when you go through the club and you still listen to that that nice uh, Reggae vibe, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. when I'm I'm taking people back on on there, you know what I'm saying? After party, so that's what it is. It's a club, it's a club banger, you know what I mean? The people are gonna definitely enjoy it. You feel me? All right, let's yeah. get into this. Let's get into this new single, the after party. J Crayol, KGJ, and Mustafa live in the building. You already know what it is. You know, the BRL show, baby. Now, yeah, by the way, the record is myself and KGJ featuring yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Let's get into this record, and we'll be back. To yes. Wrap up the interview. Yes. Oh yeah, KGJ, J Crayol, that brand new single, The After Party, Cold Southern Blocks, live in the studio. Man, that's a hot record, y'all. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank Gotta you. Big it up to y'all, man. Yeah, appreciate I, it. I think I'm going to need that one for uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, Must. I think I'm going to have to drop that tomorrow, Saturday night. Yeah, man. You oh. should have catch me, 3.30 Elgin, by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Saturday nights. Man, in I tell, in the club, man, I yeah. want to... I think, you know, I listen to yeah. that, and I'm like, I think I can make some, like, Latin music, you know? Ooh. I can make some yeah. Yeah. reggaeton or some yeah. sort of, you know, like... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I see you bought us, uh, I guess yeah. it was a little care package for myself yeah. and DJ Exactly, you know oh, what I'm saying? I take care. Yeah. I'm, I'm keeping the green. Yeah, I got the blue. Yeah, I take care of people, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So this, Connected I'm, era, you know what I'm saying? This is your clothing line, I'm guessing? Clothing line, yeah. Because yes, yes. I won't lie, I see it all over your guys' bodies. <laughs> I see it all over line. Yeah. I seen some new uh, flight luggage bags you mm -hmm. dropped uh, the other day. So tell us quickly about uh, your clothing line. Connected. That's that's connected era. I mean, that's an era where everything, everybody's connected. Right now, we having a connection. You feel me? So, so like, uh, connected era is something that we do for the people. Like, I think a short way to explain it is like, I I go to the store, I look at some clothing, I like it, but I would like it to look at what I want instead of what they're selling. Exactly. So, with connected era, we give people like 
what they want. So like if you want something and you like, yo, Jay, I love this jacket, but I want it a different way. I want, I want, I want this to be, you know, a little bit like my style. Yeah. I'm like, okay, how do you want it? Let me know, bro. <laughs> and then I just stick it and I make it how you want. And now you like, oh, now I'm connected. Yeah, I and then you connected. That's what it is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, that's right. connected in a small, small little sentence. But I believe even knowing J. Creole is you're connected. Yeah, I'm connected, man. So, yeah, we connected. We, you know connected. what I'm saying? That's the we already right connected. That's pretty much what it is. You that's, already know. That's it. basically the right brand to sum it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So where, where is uh, the clothing available in case anybody would like to purchase it? Oh, uh, they just got to hit up on Instagram. Like I said, this thing is so, it's not private, but... It feel like private. Even if it get bigger, I'll still keep it to the connection with the people. Okay. That's why right now I even build no site. Okay. You know, because okay. so uh, once you build, you uh, once you build a site, then almost like and then people is going and talk to like whatever. Then you kind of lose. I don't want to lose that connection with the people. That's right. So even if I do a site, I still gotta keep like in a way that I can still keep the connection. You still feel like you you chatting with us and then we making what you want for you, kind of. You understand right me? Now, getting that street money is better than that tax money. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, you better keep that clothing on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So, we'll just leave it like that. And that's Little Thriller's PSA of the week. He's a bang. I was playing. No, we pay the government their taxes. Yeah, we pay our government. We pay Everybody our government. Does. You know what I'm saying? Every dollar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we stay connected, y'all. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Congrats to you. Congrats to you, yeah. KGJ. Thank you, Mustafa, for stopping by. Tell us once again to all of our listeners where they can connect with Cold Southern Blocks. And uh, what role Lil Thrill and DJ Lava are going to play in season two? Um, Lil... <laughs> <laughs> Lil Don't say my role. My, mine's... My, yeah, yeah. Yours is yeah, a real secret, secret role. Mine's a secret. I have a, a, a secret role. But I'm, I'm writing... I'm Thriller's going to be some super... I'm, like assassin or something. I'm writing. You know? I'm writing on. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing for for like Thriller. Thriller is already written. He, he actually yeah. already acting. Uh, yeah, I've already acting. Like that. you know what I'm saying. I'm but really as far as like DJ dope. Alive. We're writing this part right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's already in the work, so it's, the script's gonna be sent to him very like soon. Pablo's you know what I mean? cousin, I moved to Canada you know? in like 92 or oh, something. Yeah. He, he speaks Spanish, that's all I need, yeah. fam. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all I need. That's all I need. Yo, I got you. You know I've been from the south since time, fam. But let me you know tell you I'm something. Saying? Like the I'm script, in the south right now. I'm gonna slide the script. I'm gonna slide the script on your DM very soon. <laughs> Trust Word me. Up, man. So KGJ uh, gonna tell you how to. You know what I'm saying I have to check the the web series. What's coming up with it yes, and all yes. that. You know. Uh, if you want to follow this uh, it's a web series on Instagram, it's at CSB series. Once again, CSB series. If you want to check it on YouTube, it is available on Setacar TV YouTube channel. Right, yeah. pretty simple, pretty simple. And yeah. I believe we got one more song from you guys. It's titled Young Rondo. Tell us about that record really quick. Young Rondo. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and then we can go to KGJ. Young Rondo yes, was sir. a track, you know what I'm saying, that we had like a while back. That was in a, in a class. We left it, and then uh, we had French coming to Ottawa. French uh, from, you know, French. Uh, Triple M French from yeah, Toronto. Yeah, Triple M yeah. French from Toronto came up in the city. So we was able to link up with him and put him on that record. Super hot record. You know what I mean? For... I'm going to have to let KJ conclude and tell you what that record is about. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically what the record is about is like, you know, like the grind coming up, you know. It's a song that's called Young Rondo, right? So it's about, you know, the ball player ball Rondo player, yeah. in his prime, you in know. His prime. Mm -hmm. Coming up, you know. So like, um, you, you listen to the lyrics to hear everything I'm talking about, struggles right? It's the come up. Struggles yes, of being a rookie up. is just yeah. the same as struggles it, being a exactly. young man. Exactly. It's, 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 it's the come up, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because sure. Rondo is where he's at right now. You know, everybody respect him. But there's a come up, you know, so that's that's pretty much the story of the uh, the come up, like how you go and, and, and go about your business for until you know, like he's about to get there. So now it's the come up. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah, man. So yeah. we're about to get into this record. Before we get out of here, we want to thank you guys for stopping by the BRL show once Yo, again. Yo, thank you yeah, for the tukes. Yeah, man. Uh, I was down. telling I was telling you guys no out doubt. there, I lost my mitten, I lost my gloves, <laughs> I lost my. My too, can now you guys yeah. come and listen to me? Yeah, See what happens when you leave kids alone to go to Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, before we get him some string and some gloves, <laughs> how we used to do it back home. Okay? Old school style. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Know. yeah, also before we go, if you want to find Connected Era, it's Connected Era like on Instagram. K-O-N-E-K-T-E-D, Era, E-R-A. So basically Connected Era with a K. And if you want to hit us up and get some of the brand, it's get connected now at gmail.com and quickly where can everybody follow yourself oh yeah uh, you can follow me on instagram kgj that's about kgjay at j creole music you know what i mean j creole you know the word creole it's just a j in front of it not jay and uh, then music you know, at j creole music and mustafa just mustafa.z and all right yeah, yeah man
Thank you guys once again for stopping by. Let's get into Young Rondo KGJ featuring Triple M French all the way from Toronto. And this record is from the Cold Southern Block soundtrack, correct? Yes, yes, yes. that's correct. That's a banger right here. Yeah, Video on the way, so just look out for that. Yeah, once again, thank you guys. Keep up all the hard work, you know what I'm saying? Keep pushing the Cap City, keep pushing Cold Southern Blocks. Yeah,